This is Marissa Lenti, and you are about to watch a Dice Junkies gameplay video. This is Blood X, and welcome to another Dice Junkies gameplay video. As always, we hope you enjoy. Alright, this is Blood X coming at you with another grounded video. This time we're going to go over the buried treasure locations that we have in the sandbox. Uh, most of the people are usually looking for the glint, which as you can see in my screen here, that identifies there's something buried underneath the sand in that location. Because of the uh, locations being static and the um, uh, sun and sizzle being an issue, well then I've gone and marked everything with a, um, a lamp so that I can come back and uh, fight the ant lions and actually dig them up at night. So as you can see, my canopy gives me some protection here, which I haven't quite finished. I'm still working on that. That's going to be a beast of a build. But even in the shade, you still see the glint of the buried treasure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back at night and we're going to go back and we're going to dig all these up. And I'll show you where all the locations are throughout the sandbox that I found. All right, first we'll start over here at the sand castle. Uh, there are four uh, buried treasure chests. So if we go to the map, you can see it's over here on the uh, southwest corner. They have a little boat around it, and there's four of them in here. And they will still glisten in the sunlight the way that we saw that uh, one over there before. So these have traditionally all been actual chest. I don't actually remember finding anything other than chest in here. So there's one here and there's my marker. And if we go around the castle and there's an opening right here. There's a second one here. And just on the other side of this sand castle opening oh, we got a friend. So hang on. So there's a third one over here, and just across the way from the third one, before you go around this, this corner here, there's a fourth one right here. So the oh, as you can see, I picked, I dug these up earlier to save time. But uh, if you if you don't harvest them, you can still come back and dig a second one up if you uh, have been there for a day or two, which is excellent. So I got duplicates. I think I have some omelets too we got to take care of before they start spoiling. So those are the four that we have over here in the castle. I'll show you where the other ones are. So I'm going to go and turn the light so you guys can see. So over here by where the cactuses are. So Zane Castle's over there. Uh, and there's a little water area over here. If you look on the map, you can see it's close to the science station. There's one in the middle of the cactuses here. And again, we can dig up another one. And it's a piece of salt. Which is probably the actual shittiest thing you could possibly find. Speaking of the island, uh, there is one over here on the island that I found right next to the science station. And now we've got a hot cha-cha. And um, there's something else to dig up. More salt. So if you're having problems with the um, ant lions, get them to come over there and chase you towards the water. They'll get stuck in the stuck in the water and they can't do anything. So you can just wail on them as well if you want to. This is one way if you're struggling with them to be able to attack them. It doesn't help with all the ant lions because some of them are nowhere near water. But that's a uh, one strategy. Now, just opposite of the uh, one in the water, there is one right over here. There's normally a hot dog or a cookie or an apple that spawns. Or if it's during Halloween, you might even get lucky and get a um, candy corn. But there is one here as well. All right. 
And since apparently the ant lion's coming back after I've already fought them, I'll have to just go and bring out my uh, mallet. So, um, across the way from that, oh, hang on. All right. Now that we've dealt with that, we've got uh, the salt here that I dug up earlier. Yeah, it's like we have something else in here as well, which is another ch treasure chest. I might start running out of room for stuff, unfortunately. Alright. So, on the map, this is where the uh, other one is. You'll be able to see it in the sunlight. And the one strategy is just to go mark it with a building uh, with a lamp. Just don't build it, just mark it, and then get back to the shade. Uh, or if you've got... Um, the antlion armor will give you at least a little more time to be able to get in and out of the areas. So again, this one's over here by an antlion hole umbrella and uh, the little built the uh, dig spots right here. Now, this one is just down the hill from it. As you can see, we have the science station here. So there's one right by the other. So down the hill a little bit, you'll be able to find another building, another big area. And uh, we'll enjoy this mint real quick. And we get some more stuff to dig up. Another mint. Perfect. Alright, now that we dealt with the ant lions, um, this is the one that we saw in the first part of the video. Uh, we go to the map, you see we're up here in the um, northeast corner of the uh, sandbox. You'll see the little umbrella down there, and down the hill there's going to be another diggable item. And this time we got a hot cha-cha. So over here, very close to the wall, Look at the map, you can see how close we are to the claw, right between the claw and the eye of the uh, the crab. There's another diggable item here. Looks like another uh, ice cap, yep. All right, and over here, which is close to this yellow pail, yellow box, uh, slightly down from where we just were, there's going to be another diggable area. Uh, should be something underneath this hot cha-cha as well. Another ice cap. And if I remember, I think there's one more after this. Okay. So coming around the corner from this, down here, blue shovel, green pail, there's one last area down here, which is going to be another um, diggable area. So I really recommend putting lamps that uh, are non-functional so that if you do run into an antlion, they don't destroy your marker. Um, Nothing else to dig? Okay. Uh, that way they don't destroy your marker and you can hunt in the dark without dealing with a sizzle. But that's my recommendation to you. Um, there was actually one more uh, location that uh, we need to go ahead and show you where it is. So if you look on the map, uh, just uh, north west of the science station i mean it's, it's just barely off of that you'll see the little dunes right here uh there is a marker that had here apparently i just didn't see it in the in the uh in, in the night so we dig it up we have another treasure chest here fortunately i saw it glistening in the uh in the sun so that should be all of the treasure chests that we have in the sandbox. If I miss one, by all means, please leave a comment below. We want to make sure that the Grandic community is up to date on all the locations of all these valuables. If you have any questions, you can always reach me uh, via YouTube in the comments section, or you can also hit me up on Xbox with the gamer tag, Mr. Bloodaxe. 
Thank you very much for watching. As always, we hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you found the content helpful. If you did so, please hit the thumbs up as it helps spread the channel for other viewers. As always, you can watch Dice Junkies live on Twitch at 3.30 Central Standard Time on Sundays. We also stream gaming content on Twitch throughout the week, so be sure to subscribe there as well. If you can, please go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're up to date on all the Dice Junkies content. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. They fucked my tomatoes up!